welcome back. Today we're gonna make some uh, concrete tiles here on the on the terrace here, and uh, it's actually one big chaos here. I just want to show you a little bit here. Uh, the gravel came. Our buses are here. They are not waterproof yet. Um, I actually sort of knew that, or it was a, a guess. You know, I bought them in dry season, and. Uh, started to rain and there are some leaks but it's not that bad because the plan was to build a roof over it anyway so but now we have to hurry a little but I got the materials in some concrete behind under there the sand and the, and the and the rocks for the concrete and there's all the the concrete tubes but only the tubes for the top so the big tube, uh, the, the you know the pipes that should be in the ground, that is going to be the support for everything. They didn't have them. They didn't mention that. But oh no, no, yeah, I ordered them, but we didn't have them. And the uh, metal sheets from the roof, I ordered them in white. They only have red. So now this ha all has to come from San Jose. But hey, that doesn't really matter if you here in Costa Rica. You know, you have to be, you have to adapt in a way that you, you know, it can happen that things take longer and, and what I notice is a lot of expat living here and people that leave they are often get frustrated by the fact that things started you know just take a lot of time and uh, but if you let go of that it is actually really easy and you have to take things by the step so instead of putting the poles in the floor in the ground to, uh, to, to for the support of the roof today you know because I got plenty of concrete there's Nikki, Muriel, you know, doing homeworks, homeschooling. So that's a weird time as well, you know, with the quarantine. But today I decided to do and pour some concrete. There's a little difference. You can build a roof. You have a, there's a different kind of permit necessarily for a standalone roof or a roof attached to the house, including a concrete floor, totally concrete floor. So, you know, a concrete slab. And that is just interesting. So to avoid that, uh, we placed a terrace with white rocks. Um, not thinking about this because there was a little mistake, is that these rocks I bought, uh, I ordered the slightly bigger ones, like 25 millimeters. That's the, the size of the rock. And that is just really painful to walk on barefoot. <laughs> so now the new pile are, are the tiny ones, the half size, like, 12 millimeters that's quite soft for the feet so but it's also not totally flat I ordered a bajo and he sort of straightened it but it was such a hasty job when they delivered the, the, the buses is that it's not completely flat so but it, it makes it you know nice I, I, I built this uh, this uh, little wall here I can see it from natural rocks big rocks though and uh, that was, you know, that supports, as you can see, it's about a foot, a foot high, 30 centimeters up roughly. And that holds, it's all totally filled with, uh, with stones. So, um, but now I'm gonna put this metal or this concrete uh, tiles in here. I just gonna, I made a mold and I, I'm gonna pour them in. But what did I do? I also <laughs> put, uh, so this is, material from the old kitchen that we had inside it took out but the builders just dropped it over there behind that other building and it's like okay what do we do this at so now within this concrete i do that's the old kitchen uh the kitchen counter so a piece of it and i i just kind of pour it in it saves me concrete and it fills up it gives it strength and uh you know, we don't have to dump it anywhere or find a way or dump it anywhere. You cannot dump it in nature, but you have to find a place where to leave it, right? So now I'm gonna pour myself a concrete slab and then have one, two, three, four. There should be four and then one, two, three, four, six. So 10 more tiles of those and then I think I stopped. And we have a nice area to put the tables on and everything on. So I'll get to now work. I pour the, the, the sand and the rocks over here and the concrete I put over here, but the water is all the way over there. So, but I was thinking, what is the best place to put the concrete? If I put it over there, it was not possible because the truck cannot go there. And the bags here are like 50 kilograms. So uh, I don't know, 25 pounds. Uh, no, that's not true. 
it's like uh, 100 pounds, of course, the other way around, right? So it's it's stuck here. I covered it with the old metal sheets to uh, to uh, make sure that the, the rain it stays dry in the rain because the rainy season is coming. Only I don't know when. So here's the concrete. Now for uh, for those tiles, for those tiles, I, I probably need uh, half a bag. At least I'm trying to do that. It's going to be three mixes mostly often. So I'm going to make a little bit more to see if we can do it in two. three dogs uh, of which you know two two puppies so they walked over so we have some dog paws on the on the tile but uh, I don't know it, I can get some uh, concrete finish and put an extra layer on it and it will be okay and uh, I don't really mind we have another tile with bigger paws from uh, when Joey was a puppy so but uh, a day here in Costa Rica on, on our own land can can take different ways and that is what I noticed while living here in Costa Rica is that you can actually the, the, the golden rule is that you have to, can only do one thing at a time or one thing a day so if you want to go to the municipal to get permits or something that's one day if you go to the bank that's one day it never is like tut, 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 quick and stuff like that so if you can I just do that always oh, okay right so today it's Sunday and I was thinking you know I'm just gonna do some uh, construction today and start building the roof and uh, you know I, 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 I did my thing today so so that's why I was preparing so then I walked over here <laughs> this is the a little shed but it's also a laundry room it all needs to be cleaned up and stuff like that this is the garbage where we still have to find I have to build a sort of a rack where we can put the garbage in in front so we don't have to look at it all in good time and then I came at the back here so this is a task for today as you can see here, there was a big pond of water. I was like, oh my God, I thought the water pipes were broken, you know, because if that happens, uh, your water bill will be super high if that's run for like 24 hours or maybe even longer. So a good thing to check for that in dry season, if you have really green spots in, your, in, the, in the field or, you know, an area where the plants are flourishing and happy, then you almost can be sure that you have a water leak over there. But this is not, so I, first of all, I was, oh my, oh, I have to cut off the water and stuff like that. But uh, then I figured out it's the outlet of the, uh, of the washing machine that's over there. And um, so this was a, 
a, a little hill. And the reason it's not a little hill anymore is because we use this dirt to mix up with good soil for the, for the vegetable garden over here. You most likely have seen that already. I built this uh, a couple of weeks ago and it's, it starts to grow. And uh, the bows are there for, for covering it up if the, the rain is very heavy. So we use that to mix up with good soil. And this is some horse, I don't know how to call that, horse dung, horse shit from our horse uh, across the street. And uh, yeah, so this is what determines my day. My thing today is, well, maybe not, but I have to dig it out, see how bad it is and how far it goes maybe, or if I can just replace a bit, a pipe in it. Because I, I, I'm sure it just goes there and it's in the, and it's a gray water area. So I have to see where it goes and uh, how everything works because I have no idea. Because something else I discovered is that there is a, just next to it over there, I don't know if you see the wooden plank, but there is a big plastic tank under there. But as far as I know, the septic tank is under the, under the, this little shed. So I have to see if I can connect the old owner who wants to build this, if he can explain to me how everything is connected without us digging everything up. So that is the thing probably what you get if you buy a property that's, you know, already had a house. I, I think the house is, is at least 20 years old. Must be 20, 25 maybe. And uh, I think we did a nice job to uh, renovate it for as long. As we're here, you see the buses, right? But this is a day in Costa Rica, what, what can happen. And uh, so yesterday I did a tile. <laughs> Today was going to start the roof, but I also made a start of, uh, of this, the bathroom because it's a bathroom here. It's an outdoor bathroom, but I took the bamboo off because it was on the ground. And uh, man, it's not even raining, but it stays wet, termites can go in and uh, it does not have a long life. So I already did this part, you see, it's off the ground and I have to continue all the way around. This one is off the ground as well. So I'm gonna do some welding today and uh, that's it. So this is how your day can take a turn. And if you're okay with it, Costa Rica living is pretty easy. If you can go with the flow, if you do not have to, I mean, you don't have to accept everything, but things can take a turn, things can happen. Things can happen outside of your control. Like uh, maybe, I don't know, we had roads closed once. <laughs> I thought I would go to the village, Komono, but it was not possible because the road was closed. And that was it, no passing by, so that's it. And uh, I'm okay with that because there's always something else to do, right? So here on, the, on our mango farm in, in Costa Rica. So that being said, guys, this is it. There was a, a tile construction and I'll keep you updated on the roof. And I'm gonna see if I can uh, fix it today or I especially dig it out. In a, and a, but this is a, a day out of our life in, in, in Costa Rica here on, a, on our mango farm. See you soon, ciao. Love dancing in the rain. You never mind a cloudy day. You make the world a better place. Yeah, you love dancing in the rain. You love talking on the phone. Things other people don't Make sure no one feels alone Do you love talking on the phone? Get so lucky